Hey guys, sorry I'm a bit late. I just, it's been kind of a rough day for me. I've had a test and it's been pretty cold outside and I got a sore throat. But I, I do have some good news, um, at least for you guys. And that is that I am extending a literature week. I have decided to do four more days. And I, I, the reason I did this was because I wanted to discuss just a little bit more literature, including the book Mary Poppins, which is what I'm going to be talking about today. And I'm going to decide which is better, the book or the film. So let's get blown away by the west wind and start this verses. As always with this verses, I am going to start with character. Now, in the Mary Poppins book, the character is Mary Poppins. There are secondary characters, you got the kids, and you got the talking dog, but really, it's all about Mary Poppins. And Mary Poppins is a wonderful character. In fact, she seems to transcend the very reality around us. She can be this grouchy, sinister woman, but then she can turn around and she can have a blink in her eyes and she could go skipping across the sidewalk, but then she's like, no, no, I don't do that sort of stuff. I'm I'm very sophisticated. It's, it's wonderful. You, you really have to read the book to understand how wonderful her character is. Now, in the film, Julie Andrews plays it a little bit differently. You do get the snappish side from her, but she's not as snappish as the character from the book. And it, it, it's not necessarily a bad thing, in my opinion. She just brings her own thing to the table. P.L. Travers didn't like it. Uh, in fact, she didn't. She really didn't like it. She had uh, Julie Andrews put on a fish hook in her book, or a character called Miss Andrews, and I think we all knew who she was talking about. But anyways, I will have to say that I, I like the book character a little bit better. But I think I think that the Julie Andrews version is good too. Um, the supporting cast, though, in the book isn't very good. It just it's not too dull, but it's just not as fascinating as the supporting cast in the movies, which includes Dick Van Dyke playing Bert, which is one of the most amazing acting performances of all time. I mean, this guy's dancing around. He's, he's making all sorts of faces. I just, I, I can't help but love it. It's just so outrageous, and yet it fits so perfectly into the world that is being displayed. So... Because of the supporting cast mainly, I feel the movie is better than the book, but not, not by much. Next up is story. Now, um, both the story from the um, movie and the story from the book are, of course, exceptional. Again, I like both the movie and book of all of my verses, or of, of whatever they may be, but... Um, this one, I, I think, especially is just, they're just both so perfect. I mean, I think Mary Poppins is 100% on Rotten Tomato, or at least it did the last time that I checked. But it's amazing how the movie and the book differ from each other, and just in these very strange ways. You know, it's, the best way I can describe it is, it's kind of like the sequels in the Mary Poppins book. Because the sequel books are exactly like the original, only they just change around some things. And that's kind of what the movie did, too. You know, it's very similar plot, but there's just some weird differences. And so I almost see the movie as a sequel to the book, a weird parallel universe sequel. I know I'm probably not making sense right now, but just, just to say... I think the book version is much more simpler and even feels shorter, while the movie version seems just a bit drawn out. I don't really know. I, I think both of the stories are great, but I have to make a decision, and I just I feel like the story version is the superior. Even though, again, they are very similar, even though they are so exceptionally different. And now, finally... I'm going to do something that a lot of critics would not do. Thought. I'm making that the third most important thing. Because, in all honesty, critics don't do thought very often. And I, I once heard Spike Jones say that teachers and critics, they didn't really care too much about thought. 
If you handed in, Spike Jones would hand in papers to his teacher, and they, they didn't even care about, really, what, what went into it. They just, they just looked at the formula. But anyways, thought in both uh, the movie and the book are exceptional. It, the movie is much more happy and whimsical, but the book has much more of that sad feeling in it. And it's very happy itself, the book, but I, I just felt like the book left off on a really powerful note. In fact, all of the books did, every single one of them. And that is why I decided to say that the book was better, because I really felt sad from the book, and that, that emotion really stayed with me more than the movie's emotion, which was mostly happy and then just Mary Poppins leaves. And Mary Poppins leaves on a very happy note. There's, they're flying kites in the air. It's not really meant to be seen as sad. So, yeah, I, I do think the book is better this time than the movie, but it, it, it's amazing how close they are because they are, they're all, the movie is just almost like the book in every single way, just with a few weird exceptions. That's pretty much it. And I do have to disagree with P.L. Travers about Julia Andrews, even though I, I did pick the book version over the movie version, because I feel like Mary Poppins wouldn't like another Mary Poppins running around. And I feel like that's how P.L. Travers felt about Julia Andrews. She didn't like that this person that was a lot like her was running around. She, she wanted to be superior to her. It only made sense. In a way, Julia Andrews was the perfect choice for that character simply because P.L. Travers didn't like her. But that is my two cents on the matter. Let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, think bigs, think differently.